Hi everyone. I wanted to take a quick minute to show you how awesome the Cherry Lynn Cutie 2 flower die is from of course Cherry Lynn. I do carry all Cherry Lynn products and you can find them here on my blog at because every picture has a story to tell dot blogspot dot com. I order just about every week from Cherry Lynn so I have orders going out weekly and I ship quickly so if this is something that you would like you can go on over to my blog to purchase it and I do ship free. This die is one of the easiest flower dies. This is what the die looks like. Cherry Lynn dies are made in America they're very high quality and they're very easy to use. And I'm going to show you how this die right here makes a really pretty flower. This die is compatible with any of your tabletop die cutting machines. The Big Shot, the Big Shot Pro, the Vagabond, the Cuddlebug, the Big Kick. And the results are awesome. So you just cut your, using whatever paper you want to use, you go ahead and cut two, at least two strips. I'm going to show you right now what the flower looks like when you glue two strips together, but we're also going to do three. So um, I use glossy accents as my adhesive because it's quick drying, which is what you need for this. And all I'm going to do is run glue right up this strip at the very bottom. Now it's important that you keep the glue just at the strip because you don't want the glue sticking to the petals because the petals are going to separate into your flower. Now you take your second strip and you alternate the petals. This is how easy this is you guys. You can do this project with your kids. I'm going to show you this up close. So this is what I mean by alternating the petals. You should have one strip on top of the other, but with the petals in the open spaces. And you just go all the way down your strip. Now, I've made already two like that in the burgundy color. And I'm going to show you how this is going to make a really cute little flower. So all you need to do is start rolling this and it's very easy and I'm going to show you you just simply roll okay so this is what you're getting you just roll the strip all the way around itself the great thing about this die is you can make a few different size flowers just by adding to the strip. Now again, this is just using two strips of paper. This is what it's going to look like. This is what it looks like from the front. And then this very little piece that we have here, again, right on the very bottom, I'm going to put some of my glossy accents and just hold it there to dry. This is going to be the smallest of the flowers that you can make and then I'm going to make one more and show you how you can make a size bigger by adding one more strip of paper. Remember you have to use at least two strips of paper in order to make one flower and that's because you need to stagger the leaves. Okay so here we have the rolled strips of paper right here and all we're going to do is start pressing these petals down and you literally stop when you get the look that you like from your flower now some people I'm going to show you this some people like it just like that where it looks like it's a little bud there in the center and just some of the leaves are pressed down and others like to just go ahead and pull more petals down and put a little something in the center, a crystal, a brad, a pearl, um, for your, the middle of your flower. Now that's finished. You saw how quick and easy that was for me to do. And that's using just two strips of paper. 
Now I'm going to show you another one using three strips of paper. So here I've already glued my two strips and staggered the leaves. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my third strip of paper and I'm just going to fold it in half and I'm going to cut it to make two. I'm going to do the exact same thing that I just did by running the glossy accents right up the strip and laying the second piece on top of it, staggering my leaves, or my petals, I'm sorry. So here we have it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach it to my previous strip of just two glued together there. And obviously because I'm making this longer, the flower itself is going to be bigger. Now this part takes a little bit longer to dry and you do want to make sure that it does dry because it's going to be holding the two pieces together. So I just like to press firmly and hold that there. One other thing I'll tell you while I'm holding this, if you're using patterned paper, my paper right now is double-sided, so it really doesn't matter which way I roll. If you are using double-sided paper, you're going to want to roll with the pattern in when you roll, so that when you separate the petals and push them down, you're going to see your pattern. Okay, all right, so here we are ready to go. And again, I'm going to do the exact same thing and just begin to roll my flower inward. Very, very easy, just rolling the strip. This flower right here using um, the three strips of paper is my favorite. I just like the size that it turns out to be, and it's just easy for um, the types of projects that I use. These flowers are great for your scrapbooking pages and your layouts, your shadow boxes, your 3D items, and especially for cards. Gift tags. Okay, so here as you can see, we've got a bigger bottom there than we do here. Okay. So same thing, you're going to have one little, one little flap and you want to adhere that to the rest of them. So you're going to just hold that. These would look awesome on gift tags too. Any 3D embellishment that you're looking for. Okay, so there we have the flower itself. That's the size. I'm simply going to do the exact same thing that I did in the first one and just start pulling the petals down. This is such an easy way to make quick flowers, you guys. And like I said, your kids can do this and they turn out just awesome. With all the different types of paper that there are out there, the ideas that you can use this for. Oh my gosh, look at this. Quick and easy. Now I'm just going to pretty it up a little bit and show you what I like to do. Um, I'm going to add, I've got some leaves here. And I've got some pretty um, pearl sprays with some netting. So I like to just kind of assemble it a little bit first, see what it's going to look like before I glue. And I like to use hot glue for this part. Um, and actually, because I'm going to use this for something, I'm going to go ahead and make one more of these and I'm going to show you and I'm going to use it this size because I want to clump these together and make a little cluster of flowers. So before I finish that off, I've got my two strips again with my petals alternating. And all I'm going to do is roll 
This is the smallest now again because I've only used two strips of paper. And I'm not even using a tool or anything to do this, you guys. I'm just rolling it using my fingers. The girls laugh at me during my live broadcast because every time I show this flower, I always say, this is the one you have to have. Well, I think you have to have all of them, but if you're going to choose one, I really like the Cutie 2, the one that I'm showing you right now. There are um, four different ones available on my blog at because every picture has to story has a story to tell.blogspot.com and I'm going to show you that card again after I'm finished. And they're very reasonably priced. So you can get all four of them over there and the only difference is the way the petals look up at the top. So again, there we are with it rolled. And all I'm going to do is push these petals down, and I've got my flower. So fun and easy to do, and I like to cluster them like this in my projects. I like to use the two smaller and the one bigger, and I put my pearl spray there. And it's going to be a little bit harder to do because I'm not actually working on something, but this is the way I like to have them laid out. I'll go ahead and just um, put the one together and we'll see what happens here. If it's going to hold very well or not. I like to put my leaf in there first. And there's also some really pretty leaf dyes from Cherry Lynn. I'm just using mulberry paper leaves right now because I don't have any cut out. Look how pretty this is. Oops, I'm sorry. Very pretty. And then like I said, when I put it on my project, I like to layer them together. Um, and then maybe stick another leaf there. And you have a little cluster. So again, you guys, the Cherry Lynn dies are awesome dies, very reasonably priced, easy to use. And you can pick up this die along with some others over at my blog which is because every picture has a story to tell.blogspot.com. I hope you get a chance to go over there. Thank you.